we have reached the final list of the the top 10 pop songs the the decade list the 80s the 90s the 2000s 2010s and now we have the all-time list so we're just gonna see what's on there uh, i've watched all the lists uh, the 80s was all right the 90s was shitty the 2000s was unwatchable and the 2010s was pretty crappy as well so yeah i didn't have a good time watching this series but it, it is uh, coming to an end so i'm glad for that and i believe this is the last miss mojo video i'm doing i, I cannot guarantee that uh, where's my phone uh it is there i have an actual list of um, just all the videos that i'm doing so i can actually look that up I'm going to my patch notes or whatever the name is. Uh, pop songs of all times, and then we have. Yeah. I believe. Yeah, this is the. Yeah. Uh, this is the last official video that I'm doing by them. And then, uh, Music Fan requested some more, I believe, two videos. So. Um, it is the final video for this, uh, well, what was requested in a big long row. And then again some, uh, I believe two, two uh, separate videos. But those are actually pretty interesting, so I accepted them. But Miss Mojo is gonna fuck them up eventually, probably. But the only way to find out is to watch it. So let's get into the video. I think the entire 80s list is going to be on this list. And maybe even some 60s and 70s songs. If they're going to do that, I fucking hate uh, Miss Wojo, but I already did that. And makes you wonder why they didn't make a 60s or 70s list. Because they uh, could have gotten more views because of that. But hey, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, put your volume up the owner's notes. Otherwise the people can't hear the video. There we are. I forgot about Cindy Lauper. Generation after generation tear up the dance floor. The top 10 pop songs of all time, that is your title. A really clickbaity title. And the first thing that you play is in sync. Clickbait as hell. Clickbaity. Better. You know, I'm not thinking of Lady Gaga when I think um, greatest pop songs of all time, but sure. Uh, the 2000s isn't gonna be on there because, uh, well, anything else, because uh, Shakira was number one on that video, spoiler alert, so nothing from that list is gonna make the list. I'm happy for that. Number 10, Hips Don't Lie. Don't watch the music video. Well, unless you want to watch the porn, then watch it. While Spanish speakers were already warm to Shakira's form back in 2006, Hips Don't Lie made everyone fall in love with the Colombian star. The song became one of the most popular tracks of the entire decade, thanks to Shakira's distinctive vocals, that melodious chorus, and the blistering Latin music. A lively and thumping mix never before heard. Of a worldwide hit, and it reached number one in a staggering 55 fucking fancier, man. And set the record for the fastest selling single to reach one million digital downloads. I said it in the last video as well, uh, in the 2000s video, but put, put some fucking clothes on, seriously. As the song is original, fresh, and a whole lot of fun. Yeah, you said that in the last video as well, in the 2000s list. I believe this is actually a rip-off song, but I'm not sure. So I wouldn't call it entirely fresh because I don't know who uh, who it is originally from, but still. It doesn't sound original, but still. Not the worst out there. Number nine, Poker Face, Lady Gaga. Now I'm confused because uh, because Lady Gaga was on the 2000s list as well. But she was I believe number three. So why is Shakira below Lady Gaga? 
the logic. Lover the logic. Can't deny that she creates some wickedly memorable tunes. Yeah, and they're just gonna rehash, uh, recopy, uh, co copy those um, those transitions, those um, you know the picks that they chose on on the pre previous list, and now they're just um, making a compilation of the all-time list, which Mojo does it as well, really often now. I think it is unfortunate because when she just started she had a fresh pop sound I think it was really interesting that she mixed it with some electronic beats not too much but just the right amount but nowadays she really overuses those electronic things uh, electronic devices you know those enhancements that she uses in her voice I think that is unfortunate because she had a pretty good, uh, um, you know, discography career in um, in the early days when she just started in the late 2000s. But I think she has um, well lost that magic um, today. But I, that is probably just me. Europop synthesizers, robotic sounding vocals, and a memorable chorus. The track's music video also introduced the world to Gaga's obsession with the bizarre. Having sold over 13 million copies, it's now one of the best-selling singles of all time, a claim which it certainly deserves. It's so repetitive. Spice Girls. You know what everyone wanted in 1997? More Spice Girls. Already no. a summer hit in Europe in 1996, this song washed up on North America's in the winter of 97 and spread across North America like a plague. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends, make it last forever, friendship never ends. Fucking Spice Girls, man. Of independence, and it quickly became a girl power anthem throughout the world, even if no one knew what the hell Zinga Zinging was. It's so cringe. Success again, they didn't need to, as they had successfully entered the zeitgeist and left a lasting impression. Seriously though, what is Zigga Zinging? Fuck you, Miss Bajo. Fuck you. No. Fucking hell. Number seven, California Girls. Katie more garbage. There isn't gonna be more 2010 stuff. Uh, with Miss Mojo logic, it can, but by my logic, it's it cannot. But still, with actual logic, it isn't possible. But still. By the end of the 2000s, Katy Perry wasn't the most famous pop star in the world, but she was well on her way. Once California Girls dropped in May of 2010, the lead single effectively demonstrated that a new star had emerged. Yeah, it was a fucking slut. I mean, whose design choice is that to uh, have her above the skies, naked, only um, her, you know, her private parts are covered with fucking... <sighs> who, who comes up with that shit, really, with clouds, really? I fucking know that. Oh. Miss Mojo treats you like you're a fucking dumbass or something. You're you're listening to music because it is fun. It is fun to listen to it. If it is uh, just pill, monologue, boring, great to listen to, the modern industry, pop music industry, then you know it isn't fun, so you don't listen to it. But the fucking logic by Miss Mojo. You don't listen to a song because it is boring. I mean, what, what kind of logic is that, man? 
to even say that. To even have written a line about it. Just dumb man, you're just wasting everyone's time. This list is horrible. Number six, bye bye bye. More from... I really don't get this, this video. Shakira was number one on the 2000s list and Lady Gaga and NSYNC are above her. But they were below her in the 2000s list. What kind of logic is this list, man? How is NSYNC on the top 10 pop songs of all time? How? And how does this video only have 2000 dislikes and 18,000 likes? How? Released just days into the new century, Bye 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 was a bit of a holdover from the teen pop craze that rocked the world in the How? Complete with its earworm of a chorus and unforgettable music video, no. Bye 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 was one of NSYNC's best songs, and it solidified them as contenders for the boy band crown. Luckily. Yeah, and I don't get that as well. Um, I think Justin Timberlake's discography is pretty great. Well, I think what he does now is pretty uh, predictable, boring, and just lackluster. But I think his early stuff is great when in the 2000s. But that wasn't on the list. How? Because in this, it wasn't uh, centered to girls. Is that the reason? No, I'm not trying to be a sexist here, but Justin Timberlake is, you know, for the for the all demographic, for just uh, older people, younger people, girls, boys. He's for everybody, and that is what is so appealing to him. But In Sync was a boy band. In Sync was centered <coughs> for little girls or just girls in general. Um, is that the reason why he wasn't on the list and on this list as well? Explain yourself, Miss Mojo. Explain yourself. I mean, how is in sync on this list and Justin Timberlake isn't? Yeah, but he isn't in sync, so he is. No, he isn't. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, Cindy Lauper. No, it is way better than all the shit that uh, was below her. So there we are. But I, but I would put time after time on on the list. I think that is probably her best song. No, this song is just a bit too overblown. And I believe it is a cover as well. Maybe time after time as well. I don't know. This song was actually written and performed by Robert Hazard in 1979. Yeah, I know. The Cindy Lauper's version is just universal. Feminist unite. Yeah, but it is a fun song though. It's, it is fun. You know, it is just overblown, overplayed. Uh, what you call it overrated, I'm not sure. Wouldn't call it that though, but still, it is a good song and it deserves to be on the list. You know, when I think of pop songs of all time, I think of this because it is really universal, it is worldwide, it is really popular. And it is actually a good song. It is really important. It was really important for the pop industry. So, yeah, there you go. Good pick for once. It was a tricky balancing act, but Lauper pulled it off perfectly, creating one of the most memorable songs of the 1980s. Of all time. But the video is really cringe inducing. Again. First released as a country single again, from the 70s again, by its again. writer Dolly Parton. Whitney Houston's R&B infused version became one of the greatest cover songs in music history. 
I think this is the 100th time that Miss Mojo has used the I will, I will Always Love You track in their video. I think the 100th time, if not more. Houston showcases her powerhouse vocals throughout the song, reaching heights that other singers can only dream of, proving herself to be one of the greatest vocalists of all time. I mean, do you really want to hear it? I don't, so I mute it because it is really cringe. Uh, well, it isn't cringe, you know, it is an amazing uh, vocal performance, but still. You have used the song, the, you know, the oh, I will always love you, you know, that part. You have used it for every fucking section on your fucking video. So you don't have to repeat yourself over and over and over and over again, because I'm gonna fucking keep muting the song. Not because it is a, it is a bad song, it is a good song. That is not why I muted it. I muted because I'm just so done with the fucking song. So, you know, it is a great song, but don't use the song for every fucking video you ever make. That just makes you look lazy because you are lazy. So you're probably gonna keep using it again. And that is why I don't watch Miss Mojo anymore after this. Because, you know, it is just a horrible channel that uh, recycles their, uh, you know, their pics. Their videos, their, um, you know, the narrator is fucking horrible, I hate her. Um, she just says the stupid things, uh, the stupidest things, man. And that is probably because her writer is, you know, really stupid. Uh, Britney Spears, I mean, is this better? No. So, why am I not muting this? Yeah, I'm not sure. No, it isn't as overplayed as I Will Always Love You. That song is just so done. But all that changed for the princess of pop with the release of this solo powerhouse of a song. That is a re relatable lyric though. It reached number one in every country that it charted and singled out Britney as a cultural If you did get that, then good for you. How horrible as well. Her powerful vocals complement the energetic sound of the production to create a true powerful voice. vocals really enhance, especially through the years, and now she can't even sing anymore. And even in this song, you know, it is alright, but it is a bit nasally, it is a bit weak. You know, it isn't strong. It isn't. But it is so sad for Britney that uh, that she peaked at age, what was it, 18? And then she just went downhill from that. That is really sad. Well, it is logical because, you know, she doesn't write her own songs. She doesn't really give a fuck about her career. So, you know, you're gonna, die, you're gonna go downhill if you don't give a crap. That is logical. And you're gonna shave your head and you're gonna use autotune because you are an... Tantalus fucking whore. Pretty spirit. Speaking of fucking whores. Number two. Both. Number Madonna. two. This list is horrible. The queen of 80s pop proved that her transition to the new decade would be as smooth as butter. The material girl voked her way into the 90s, dropping this single in March of 1990. And watched as it peaked at the top of the charts in over 30 countries. Influenced by the disco styles of it the looks so boring to dance with Madonna. Just, just you know, re repeating what she does and looking monologue and pill as fuck. It looks so boring. You know, it, at least it is an outer tune or something, so I'm glad. Well, I'm glad with it. It isn't the worst song, but it isn't the second best pop song of all time. That is bullshit. You know, it is just mediocre pop. And this was in our prime, so. Uh, you know. Just don't think about what she does now. Don't think about it, please. It is. It's probably the worst music ever. 
Well, it is. Uh, Bootylicious by Destiny's Child. Bootylicious. In the title alone. But the ominous notes. Beyonce is in Destiny's Child. It is amazing. No, it isn't. Shut up. Just as worse. Just as worse. Uh, if not even worse than Beyonce herself. I got a feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. I got a feeling that this song is horrible. I got a feeling. Rolling in the Deep by it all. Should have had this on your list though. Number one is so obvious. Just go to number one. Shake it off Taylor Swift. Go to number one, please. I'm just so done. I want it that way from the backstreet boy. Go to number one. Go to number one. Barbie girl from oh God, go to number one. I'm just so done with this fucking video. There we go. Thank you. Ah, oh, that took forever. Number one, Billie Jean, Michael Jackson. I mean, Miss Mojo is the most obvious with number one. It's just as watch Mojo, but still, it is true. Just how can you have a list like this, the top 10 pop songs of all time, and have actually one good song on there? Admit it, even if you're not a fan of Michael Jackson, you I mean, who does that, really? You love this song. No Wham, no George Michael, no Prince, no ABBA. I mean, well, what the fuck is this list, Billie man, Jean really? Classic from the title. No ABBA, top 10 pop songs of all time, and no ABBA. Fucking hell, Miss Mojo. How can you fuck with that, man? Instantly recognizable and insanely memorable. Now, you know, people are probably complaining. Oh, are, why aren't you happy that Michael Jackson is number one? Because he is the best. Billie Jean is the best. Yeah, I know. But just the remain, the remainder, the, the second place to number two, number ten was absolute dog shit. Why was that on the list? Why? Why do we have Madonna and, you know, fucking Britney Spears and Shakira on the same list as this legend, man? This is just offensive. I, I hate this channel so much. I'm so dumb. There's truly something here for everyone. Whether it be the stellar production, Michael himself, the wicked guitar solo, or the confident dominating. That player. isn't a guitar solo, that is a fucking riff. Oh my god. That is a riff, that is not a solo, you dumb bitch. Yeah. You know, you know I'm, I'm just saying that, that stuff because it is such a horrible list. And if you're involved with it, I'm gonna fucking call you out. Considered to be one of the best pop songs of all time. Yeah, it is. Billy Jean no is shit. a timeless classic and arguably one of Michael's greatest achievements. It again, it is. I'm just so mad, man. Not the show, but I'm just really mad. So do you agree with our selections? No, I don't. Katy Perry as well on there. What is this fucking list, man? No, I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm disliking this video. That was horrible. The end. That was fucking garbage. Yeah, guys, I'm done. Um, yeah, if you want to request more Miss Mojo, you can because, you know, I'm just shutting off the channel. And I've watched it now for, I believe, a few months, two months, three months now, and I'm done. And, you know, um, I think I've watched 20, 30 videos by them or something like that. And I only, I only came across one good video of theirs. The top 10 hauntingly beautiful songs is actually a good list.
But that is mainly because they ripped most of the parts off from Watch Mojo. You know, I just don't like a, um, a channel that reuses their clips. Well, Watch Mojo does it as well, but you know, less. They do it way less than Miss Mojo does. Uh, they, do, they do that, the narrator isn't annoying, uh, they actually, you know, have diverse uh, subjects to talk about because here it is mainly about pop and they just use Whitney Houston, uh, Britney Spears, Madonna, they use all those fucking trash, well, Whitney Houston isn't crap, but they reuse all those, you know, artists over and over and over again, Beyonce, Shakira, Rihanna, they use those, you know, really obvious pop singers because they don't like to research about their music. So I'm just done with this channel. If you, you know, I'm gonna react to a few more videos of theirs. Um, I believe two are requested. But that is it. I'm never going to touch the channel again after that. So um, yeah, it was fun while, while it lasted. Well, it wasn't, but there we are. Uh, let's read the comments for a bit. Billie Jean is the best song ever, that is true. Uh, 243 likes, there we are. Top 10 Avril Lavigne songs. Uh, that is, uh, this is actually a list that they made, but that thumbnail is horrible. It is really cringy. Um, yeah, don't, don't uh, watch this video, that is horrible. Uh, Michael is the king of music. Uh -huh. Yeah, he, everyone is just praising the number one spot and nobody is talking about the other shit. Uh, even if you're not a fan of Michael Jackson, wait, wait, who isn't? His impact on pop music is undeniable. Uh, if Michael Jackson wasn't number one on this list, I would have been pissed all day. That is really sad, but there we are. You know, I'm pissed now, but I'm gonna do something else, you know, in a few minutes and then... You know, I forgot about it because I really don't give a fuck. Who only came, uh, hair, not hair, but hair, just to make sure Michael Jackson was first. One, what was the first one? Lol, me, with emojis, amazing. Who else? You know, everyone is just talking about the number one spot. MJ, number one, Billie Jean, number one, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Everybody is just talking about the number one. That that is, you know, the comment section. Um, you know, the comment section is the ultimate reason that Miss Mojo is horrible. If everybody is talking about the only good thing about the list, the number one spot, the saving grace, the reason why I like this video is for MJ, MJ, and Billie Jean, uh, MJ. <laughs> <laughs> this is sad, man. This is really sad. Uh, Shakira, Shakira is a great talent for pop world music. That is the f <coughs> that is the first the first comment not related to Michael Jackson, and I I had to scroll down a hell of a lot. I believe twenty comments. Uh, Billie Jean, MJ, Thriller, Rihanna. Thriller and Rihanna in the same sentences. You sir are fucking retarded. Xavier. The fuck man. Uh, hey Miss Mojo, Rolling in the Deep is a pop song. Puffed. Uh, yeah it is. What the fuck is it else then? What, what, what the fuck is Rolling in the Deep? A fucking black metal song? Yeah sure. Taylor Swift is the best. Uh, no she isn't. But still, I think she can be on the list but... Not with Shake It All though, Th that is not the best. Yeah, everybody is just uh, talking about Billie Jean, so um, yeah, those are the comments. They're really repetitive. They're all saying Billie Jean deserves to be number one. And nobody else is talking about the number 10 through number 2 spot, so that is only saying how garbage this list really is. Uh, Miss Mojo, I'm done with you. Uh, this was the last video I, I uh, will do on them. Well, two more videos, but they are actually good. Uh, but for a while, uh, you know, I'm shutting the channel down. Not this channel, but Miss Mojo. And I'm just done with their channel. If you want me to do more, then forget it. You can request watch Mojo videos. That is fine, but no more Miss Mojo videos. I'm fucking done. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about the list. Uh, the comments think that Billie Jean is the number one spot. And I agree with that. But, you know, number 2 to 10 are absolute dog shit, so, yeah, Miss Mojo, go fuck yourself, and 
I will see you guys in the next video. And Ms. Mojo die somewhere uh, in a fucking grave. Uh, yeah, from a river, you know, get uh, dissected, all those good things. Uh, Ms. Mojo, fuck you and die. One of the worst channels ever, and that is why I'm saying all of those, uh, all of those things. Ms. Mojo, seriously, I'm not kidding. Go fuck yourself and kill yourself.